Hello, my little double dangers. How's everybody doing today? Hope doing good. Hope doing well. Oh my goodness. This video took me so long. Because why? It's not because of the editing. It's because of my homework from school. Oh my lord. There's just so many of them. And I'm working on another video on my school sports. Uh, it doesn't show the sports, it only show the marching one, but not all of it. Uh, you'll see it on the next video. But after this video, we're gonna straight battle the Elite Four. You heard me, the Elite Four. The four strong trainers. Actually, there's one more trainer, and that's the champion of Unova. And who is it? Elder. Yes, and please thank God, this video gave me so much pain and suffering to me. Because why? I finally get it to narrow down to 14 minutes. If not, you're gonna have a one hour video. Ugh. But, yeah. Everything's going well, everything's going fine. I may I may lack of posting videos because why? Because I have an exam coming up. That's why. But I will study hard and pray that I got a good good grades. Yeah. Form 4 isn't Playing y'all isn't playing a little bit, but no oh well. I'm gonna put a spell on my paper so I can get all A's. Just kidding, I can't put a spell, <laughs> but I can try to ace the exam papers. Try. But I'm afraid of my SRT teacher. I hope she doesn't blow up in my face if I fail her class again. Because she is a scary person when she's angry. So me and my couple of classmates who took her class, we will try to take care of her heart so she won't get mad at us. Cherish her emotion and finish all our jobs. So we don't get, get, you know, get mad. She doesn't get mad at us. But in our hearts, deep in our hearts, we say, You, you teachers supposed to guide us not to be mad at us when we have just a little smidge of fail. But... Ah, uh, the last time she got mad, I can understand. Almost half the class failed. And I'm one of them. Yeah, we're talking about exams here, honey. Nothing can run. As long as you go to school, you will face exams. Speaking of schools, I have a little trouble of thinking what I want to learn in college. I want to learn cooking. At the same time, I know I want to learn animation. Because let's just face it, when we were kids, we saw cartoons on TV, we said, we want to make those. <laughs> same as me. I like drawing, and back in my... a long time ago, in my shorts, I made a couple of drawings to match the music. So yeah. It it was fun drawing. Feels like a kid again. So I just wanna ask those who like to cook and like to draw. Is it possible to do the same thing? Because to me it's always possible. Nothing is impossible. Things may get a little wary and uncertain sometimes, 
but you just have to trust your heart and prevail. You will instantly feel great about your future and what your future holds. I was thinking again that my nose is a little sensitive, so I don't want to sneeze or cough on the food. But if I do animation, I don't have to worry any about that. Because I be sitting behind the screen and just draw and learn computers. So thinking again, I may want to get animation. Or animation. Uh, when I was a kid, I always loved animation. I also love animation right now. I still watch Jaden Animation, Let Me Explain Studio, The Odd Ones Out, Emery Chu, Wolfie Chu, and, and much more. Sometimes, you thought you already have your life planned, but, but no, things can take a toll. I love cooking, but I think drawing may be my calling. Not for certain yet, but I'm thinking of when I go off to college, I'm going to work art college. It's possible for me. I can draw, but not so pretty, but I can draw. I can harness my skill, so it'll be better. Same as cooking, you have to harness your skill. And cooking, I can do that anytime. I just have to know the basic skills. So, I think I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> At the same time, doing YouTube videos and learning animation. You know what? Maybe in the future when I get my drawing tablet, maybe I make animation for you guys. Maybe you guys might like it. From gaming to animation, animation to gaming again. And maybe vlog sometime. I'm sure you guys gonna love it. But at the same time, I'm afraid. Because I know there's people out there are much better than me. But you cannot give up. Even if they are better than you. Never ever give up. They might, some people say to you that you are nothing, you don't deserve this. They're wrong. They're scared because you guys are going to be greater than them. They are scared that if you pass them, they're going to be at the lowest point. They can go to the shallow. They can go low as they want to hurt you. But don't give in. Prevail and follow your dreams. The other day, I met my guy. I met a guidance, my school guidance council. Yeah, that's it. And it's because we have a test once in a while to show how we are doing, our mentally and our physically. And I'm not doing too well right now. But honestly, I'm recovering. So you guys don't have to worry about me. No one has to worry about me. I only have to worry about myself. And I will worry for everyone else. Yeah. At the school, some people call me a protective friend. Almost like a dad attitude. And they're not wrong. I can be protective sometime. And yeah, maybe my friends, they can get on my nerve and sometimes make my blood boil. But when I think about it again, they, they are the ones who light up my day. They are the ones who make me smile in the end. They can try how hard they do, but they never can get rid of me. 
Sure, they can call me names, this and that. But let me tell you one thing. You mess with me, you mess with me, I mess with you. At the one time, a girl wouldn't stop. Stop with her mouth. And I just exploded at her. She brought up a subject about fathers. Then I said to her like this. Oh, you don't have a father? That's so sad. And then she break down. Honestly, I feel good that finally she got what she, she got her own medicine. But at the same time, it doesn't feel good. Because why? I just hurt her feelings. I don't like hurting people's feelings. But sometimes, they can get a little carried away. And when you explode at them, and it hurts. To me, it hurts to see someone like that. Because I don't know what their story are. And you just say it like that. It hurts them. And hear hear it from me. I can I can relate to that feeling. Sure, it hurts, but sometimes you just gotta swallow your feelings, so nobody so nobody else get hurt. People will start calling you a hypocrite if you fight back. I don't want to hurt people's feelings, but sometimes when your mind and body had enough of their torments, you just explode. You explode at them, and they can't do anything about it. Just listen what you're talking about. And I feel sorry for her. I don't want to get to her personal business, so after... I said that I just stay silently. I even put a sorry up on the whiteboard of my class to let her know that I'm sorry. Sorry for hurting her. Sometimes people get on your nerve, but that doesn't give you the permission to hurt them bad. Sure, it feels good. But at the same time, it feels bad. It's not worth it to hurt people's feelings to defend yours. But sometimes it hurts to hurt people's feelings to defend yours. Because you will feel bad about it. But at the same time, you will feel great. Your dignity and your pride. But. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This video is it's so sad. But. I'm happy. That I get to get this off my chest. And you guys are like my. You guys I like therapy. YouTube is my therapy. So this is the end of this video. My little double dangers. See you next time. Bye bye. Hey Double Dangers, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below what should I do next. See you on the next video. Here we go!